The second step to creating the student portfolio is to add a name and short description to the student portfolio. You do this by going to the upper left hand corner where it says no name. You will find three vertical dots. You will click on the three vertical dots and have two options. Please click on edit portfolio details. This will bring up the naming area. Please add your first initial and last name or at the, at the very least your last name and please put the subject that you're going to be tracking in your SLO. So for example, Ika Mario, physics. We would really like for you to please add a description of the subject if it's labeled as AP, dual enrollment, honors, inclusion, resource, or life skills. We do this for tracking purposes. So if I were teaching physics AP, I would put here physics AP. In the description, we would like for you to please list what period you are tracking. So if it's your third period, if you're secondary, please put third period. If you are elementary, you don't need to put what period you're tracking. However, for all grade levels, we would like for you to please put the number of grade levels you are tracking in your folder. For example, 11th grade. If you have a class that spans multiple grade levels, please include all grade levels. So if I were teaching AP Physics and I had 11th and 12th graders there, I would put third period, 11th and 12th. We need this information so that we can properly track your SLO. That concludes step three. At the end, please make sure you click on done or your save or your changes won't be saved. Again, click on done. You'll notice that your portfolio is now labeled. Thank you.